Oh my god, this trash bag is so so long overdue. I had to film this. I had to get it out. And I'm just collecting trash on the side. I had to. Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ramya from Desi Girl 1010. Every single time, I swear, every single time I think I'm going to open the video with a new line. But I always get stuck with, hi guys, hope you're doing great, welcome back to my channel in the same rut. So anyway, today's video is going to be my monthly empties. Now, I can't even say monthly empties because this bag of trash has been sitting in the corner in my uh, room for almost about two plus months. And I today I had to just clean out and <laughs> throw this stuff away and I had to film this video and show you guys what I have emptied. Um, what I have finished I mean so empties are one of my favorite videos to watch and film because the perspective from someone who has finished a product it tells you much more about the product and you will know right away if that is for you or not of course but every single time every product does not react or behave the same for each person so uh, let's go ahead and get started now I'm going to pick up one by one whatever comes to my hand now of late I have not been using my epilator to remove the hair on my arms and legs uh, because I find that I'm having a lot more ingrown hairs so I thought I will try some wax strips and I asked my cousins to pick these up from India they came all the way from India this is by the brand Wheat uh, these come in, in different fragrances or flavors I think this one is the one with shea butter and berries and it's for normal skin and each of this box is like really inexpensive they come with about 20 wax strips and this one is priced around 170 rupees which is not even more than like a three or four dollars depending upon the conversion rate of course so I have like ton of boxes lying around and I I just saved two just because I wanted to show you guys what I'm using right now and the next is I have one finished pack of Swiss Purs. These were the hypoallergenic 100% cotton rounds with an 80 count. I think I bought this in a pack of three or four from Walgreens or Walmart. I have another rounds packet. I use this to remove makeup. I use this with my uh, nail polish remover to remove my nail polishes and uh, to also remove eye makeup with the Neutrogena eye makeup remover liquid that I have. It's basically like a gel based, um, no, a watery based uh, liquid which has oil in it and it removes uh, eye makeup really well. So that's what I use these cotton rounds for. They were really good. I would definitely repurchase them and I definitely am loving the wheat uh, wax strips. The next I have a couple of makeup remover wipes. This came actually in an influencer box. I never got around to film that but thank you so much influencer for including me in that box. These are the Neutrogena Naturals and this is supposed to uh, be using a lesser more oil and it's environmental friendly and it supports clean water. So I did love this but I definitely enjoyed these more. Uh, as I mentioned I mean I mean if you've been on my channel for about however long I have been on YouTube you will know that these are my cult favorite makeup remover wipes. Oh, so I do by the way uh, just a quick rundown on what makeup I'm wearing. These earrings I showed in a haul. They are from a store called Invo from a mall in Santa Clara. I can never place. Oh great mall. I did show this in a haul and the lipstick I'm wearing is the Milani a more matte liquid lipstick and I cannot find it Ooh, I cannot find it it's one of my favorite right now and it comes in a packaging like this and I think this is what no this is not what I'm having uh, on my lips I have a beloved I will try to show you once I finish the video anyway I got sight right so these are the makeup remover wipes. I have a ton of these lying around and I definitely do repurchase them uh, again and again. So I really love them. The next is, this is not finished but this is an expired product. I know for sure because it has been more than three years since I got this. These are the ELF, um, uh, I want to say the ELF, I'm not sure what they are called. 
the e.l.f. $1 lipstick kind of stains or cheek stains which you can basically use on your lips as a lipstick or on your cheeks as a cheek stain. It is, it is a multi, multi user friendly product and it's about a dollar and I did get some use out of this. I did film some tutorials where I use this as a lip uh, product and also as a cheap, uh, not a cheap, not as a cheek product. Oh my god. But I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. It's expired. I know for sure. It smells weird. The next is this Bodycology Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. I finished every single trace and I also had to wash it because I thought I'll, I'll reuse this for something around the house. Um, I did buy another a scrub in a different flavor. This was with shea butter and avocado oil. It was like burnt, toasted sugar oh my god if if there was technology where you could smell it you would really die you would really die with that smell it, it's so amazing um i definitely did repurchase something different from the same line from target the next is i have this face mask which is dried out and i thought it was not worth saving i did use this in a ziploc so these are the um freeman beautiful uh freeman face masks so basically this was a charcoal mask, a charcoal and black sugar mud mask and it was basically black in color. It would remove every single trace of dirt from your face. The only complaint I have about these masks is I would really request Freeman Beauty uh, to come up with a twist cap because it was very difficult to preserve this and the product got dry faster. I didn't get much use of it. In fact, I have a lot of product right now, but I'm not able to use it because it got dried out and I had to um, store it in a Ziploc just because I didn't want it to get, you know, stay open in the air and get germs and stuff. So that's the only complaint, but these masks work really well. So that's that. The next is I also have another of this Botanics Boots, Boots Botanics the Power of Plants uh, Ionic clay mask and I got this in one of my influencer boxes. I, this. So I did love this. It was a little watery consistency uh, but it did work and it would dry very fast so I'm not sure um, if I would use this as an everyday mask or you know once in two three days because the moment I apply I could see it drying so I did feel clean so that's the purpose I think so and I have a uh, big bottle of these uh, Clairol Herbal Essence shampoo bottle. So this is the old traditional packaging if any of you guys remember. Um, it comes with a pump and this was pink in color. I do have some water towards the bottom and this was basically the smooth collection Lizzie or Liz however you want to say it and this was blended with rose hip and vitamin E and jojoba extracts and I did purchase a clean and clear shampoo this time because I know herbal essence works for me I know I like it but I thought I should venture out and try something else and yes I will repurchase that oh I finished a perfume this time um, this is the Armani code uh, Armani Sheer Coat I think I used up till the very very last this is a nice perfume I got this as a gift I mean who buys perfumes you always get them as gifts from someone or the other so I got this from a friend in Chicago she gave it to me for my wedding which was like three years plus back and I finally finished it and one of my favorites I do have some other perfumes in my collection which I want to go through before I even think of purchasing something but yeah, that was nice. Okay, I have this hand cream from Hand Food. I got this in Sephora and this is supposed to have um, shea butter, macadamia, macadamia oil and marshmallow. And this was the Soap and Glory Hand Food Cream. This tiny bottle is about $6 and I got this in the Sephora section. Exactly the checkout line where you where you wait around and you get sucked up with these products that you buy that you don't need and I have a ton and ton of hand creams lying around I always have something in my bag something at my office desk something by my bed and yeah um, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this I have a cream by um, I want to say Jergens that I currently love and I don't think I'm repurchasing this because it's like six dollars and I don't think 
um, it would evaporate very fast let's say let's put it that way it wouldn't feel soft or hydrating or uh, stay that way for a longer time so yeah the next is I have a couple of these uh, finishing wipes these come with those wheat wax tips that I showed so these are basically oil based um, tissues that you kind of use on the uh, areas where you used the wax strip so it basically removes all the gunk and the gum <clears throat> all right the next i have are two samples and i don't know what this was i'm assuming this is the makeup forever foundation sample that i got a long time back and this is the nars biscuit concealer which i did purchase i have the full size with me the next is this white sandalwood nest, no, <laughs> white sandalwood, not food, nest fine fragrances um, and that's a tri tiny travel size perfume which I did get from the Sephora online checkout and I did like it. I do like having those little perfumes in my, uh, you know, in my uh, makeup bag or my handbag. The next is, I did finish up this Benetint, I want to say. No, the Posy Balm by Benefit Cosmetics. This came in the lip set that came, um, that I purchased last year. And I don't think I'm going to purchase this. I mean, the product itself was like a joke and you hardly can see it. It has a very, very slight tint of pink and I hardly got any use out of this. This was like a travel size. This was a joke in that set and I'm not purchasing this, not impressed. Sorry guys, I got cut off with the battery. So moving on, I have another small bag with all of these empties. I have more makeup remover wipes as I mentioned. Um, the Costco bag uh, or the Costco pack comes with a travel size which is like 7 sheets and uh, these ones are 25 sheets. So that's that. I have a loofah which pretty much, you know, whenever it increases the size, that means it's no longer usable. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm throwing this away. I got this at Walmart. I have a replacement already. The next is a couple of these samples that I finished up. And uh, let me show you. Oh, this is another face mask. This is by the brand Cubella. That's how the pack looks like. And this also didn't come with a closing thing I had to like use it in a ziplock bag and uh, treasure it that way and of course the, the face pack dried very very faster it didn't have the shelf life that it normally should have the next is another hand cream this is the Vaseline total moisture aloe fresh I did love this a little more over the hand food soap and glory cream that I showed I have a small sample of the Lancome Advanced Genifique Concentrate and this was really amazing. This is one of the reasons why I got the Lancome set that I showed in a haul. And I have that sample with me. Um, it should be somewhere around here. Um, I have that sample. I use it as a serum on, on, um, on a daily basis. Like either I try to include in my morning routine or my night routine. And yes, I am filming that video. I'm so sorry. I'm just really occupied with a lot of things I'm not able to film that many videos as I can as I want to I mean not that I can uh, another makeup remover wipe you know what I feel about them another uh, hand moisturizing hand lotion this is the suave smoothing with cocoa butter and shea and it's supposed to soften rough and dry skin I love suave hand creams they're really handy and I have purchased over and over again the next is I finished up this moisturizer you did see this using uh, you did see me using this in a lot of my get ready with me videos and this is the Alba Botanica even advanced C lipids daily cream this was $16 definitely expensive but it lasted a very very long time I want to say more than six or seven months and you know that's that's pretty much what I wanted I did feel uh, it did make my feel skin it did make my skin feel smooth and soft it was a uh, no parabens and no sulfates no platelets whatever however you want to say this I did apply this to my face and neck every single day as a daily moisturizer I did see a difference and 
right now I'm using this Lancome daily moisturizer moisturizer for my face <laughs> oh my god I can't even talk uh, for my face this came in the Lancome kit that I showed in a haul and absolutely loving it the next I have a small travel size a Colgate total toothpaste what can you do you need clean teeth the next is I have a couple of samples here. Uh, this is the um, Perfect Skin Perfection Gel. It was okay. I didn't see any difference with it. Not going to repurchase. This is the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This definitely had that rose fragrance. And um, it was okay. I didn't see any difference. I did use it like two or three times I think. And... Um, I, I really like trying these samples out from the Sephora checkout whenever you do an online order. Oh, the next is I did try another uh, wax strip called Hip Hop. This, these are available in India. It was okay. And this is the Ceramics Cleanser by Sunday Riley. Oh my god, this cleanser guys, it's really amazing. I looked up the price on the Sephora website and I was like, dang, I'm not going to buy that. This cleanser was like 45 or 55 dollars and I don't think I'm going to spend that much. This was great. I'll think about it. Um, I'm not sure. I loved it but um, not sure. The next is I have another cotton round. The same. Oh, these are Studio 35 Beauty. I got this from Walgreens. Cotton rounds, they did the job. It's okay. I like the Swispers or the Swiffers, whatever I showed you previously. Another toothpaste, Crest Whitening. Do you guys try different toothpaste or is, is it just me? I get bored and I keep changing my toothpaste regularly. Anyway, uh, this is one more pack of the Pond's Toilets, wet cleansing toilets with vitamin E. These were really good. I didn't expect Pond's wipes to be this good, but they were really nice. The next I have one nail polish remover. I did buy a pack of two from Walmart and it was very inexpensive and this is the, oh this is from the Up and Up brand. Up and Up is available at Target. It's Target's local brand like Equate from Walmart. Okay, I do have some little itty bitty stuff here. The next is I have this Fekai Technician Color Care Shampoo. This had a very pungent smell. I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I was very excited. It came in a goodie bag a long time back when we went to a shopping mall in Chicago. So that was like really long back. I did use it up. I didn't enjoy it. It, it felt that like it weighed down my hair. My hair was uh, oily faster. Um, not loving it. The next is I finished a nail polish. This is one of my favorites. I got this like a long time ago when Milani was having, oh, when Walgreens was having a clearance. This is the 3D Holographic Nail Polish. And this is in the shade 5 and 3 Digital. As you can tell, it's a pretty nice everyday kind of nail polish. And absolutely loved it. Finished it completely, every single drop out of it. The next is I have three samples, uh, perfume samples. One is the Daisy Marc Jacob. Absolutely loved it. I'll definitely pick it up the next time. The next is Paradise by Nest Fine Fragrances again. This was okay. I didn't like it that much. And the next is Tory Burch. I don't know which perfume this is, but this was a really, really amazing. Currently, I have the Versace Versants. That's how the bottle looks like and I did purchase um, Gucci Guilty. That's how the bottle looks like. These are really long lasting perfumes. I do enjoy them. So I'm going to wait and then buy the Tory Burch perfume. So yeah. Always try to buy high end perfumes because they last a long and definitely worth it. And I have another Altoids uh, Freshman's. I don't know why I had to open the box to show you guys. The next is this Ole Hendrickson Sheer Transformation. This came in a set um, with two other things. One was like a serum which had orange or vitamin C extracts in it and the other is like a day transformation gel. This was really great. Out, out of all the three things, 
this was really great and I got that sample from um, I got the kit from Sephora for like 15 or 17 dollars a long time back definitely going to repurchase the full size of this that's how the packaging looks like and just a quick minute I have these fell down from my lap I have two NYC products um, this is the NYC eyeliner and I don't know why this is in the bag I don't know I honestly don't know how it got into the bag this is a product that I purchased a long time back but it's still working it's blackish metallic gray I don't remember why I have it in the box but this NYC um, Skyrise lengthening mascara was absolute crap this was a dollar and definitely not worth it I thought I can save the wand to you know use as a bro wand or um, just an eyelash wand to remove the extra clumps but I don't think I'm, I'm gonna do that I have my elf eyebrow wand right now so I'm going to toss this in the trash so overall a big big bag full of trash full of empties it feels really nice to empty products finally and tell you guys what I think about that so yeah um, I hope you find these videos helpful I hope you find these videos entertaining helpful and if you do please give this video a thumbs up definitely follow me on my social media sites like Facebook Twitter Instagram blah 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 and I'm trying to learn how to do snapchat so stay tuned i will uh, be active on snapchat as well and i will talk to you guys very very soon bye